you know, you mentioned earlier people getting some knowledge and thinking they're experts. This might be the good segue into something we had been teasing from the beginning of this of this show. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, no, I, I did not know that this is going to be your next episode on the behavior panel. So it might be a great uh, cross promo. But you, you, sure. you watched Alec Baldwin, his roadside interview. Yes. If I, I'm going to bring it up and then I guess I'll either play the entire thing or in two separate bits. I, I'm not sure I'm tech savvy enough to stop it every time you have an just, observation. Just let it play, and I'll give you some high level observations because okay. the approach we took. This is our set. We're doing two two videos this week. First is Elizabeth Holmes from Theranos. Oh yeah, and that one is a hoot. <laughs> oh my god, that one is a hoot. That's a multi <laughs> multi. <laughs> yeah, it could it could be, and and you know I, I thought she was just boring to watch until you really start paying attention, and you're like, wow, there's something here. But then we did our second one's kind of a short on Alec Baldwin and, and Hilaria. Hilaria, Hilaria, Malaria. I don't know. Mal I, what is her name? It's not Malaria. I think it's Mal Hil Malaria. Hil Hil Hilaria, Hil Hil Hilaria. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm, I'm <laughs> not that worldly. And this was not okay. Well, without that was intent. That was just a funny joke. Now I'm gonna share screen. Let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna go to Chrome tab and bring up my Twitter feed. Okay, share. I think we should all see it, but I don't see you guys anymore. Can I yes, still hear you? I, yeah, okay, wait, I can hear you. You may have to share sound. I don't know. Let's see this. Tell me if you hear this. Alec, we'll see the, the, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'm not allowed to make any comments because it's an ongoing investigation. I've been ordered by the sheriff's department in Santa Fe. I can't answer any questions about this. We saw, we're seeing a lot of illustrators there, right? Yeah. And almost pretty, time, you know, that, that pretty well time is almost like in between, isn't it? You know, it's almost like stop and in it, like, uh, you know what I mean? It's a regulator. So it, the first thing yeah, you see yeah, when he exactly steps out of the vehicle, when he steps out of the vehicle, the first thing you see is a little bit of, okay, let's go. You know, he stands up. It's almost like he's calling you out. And, you know, he has a reputation for being a little rough with these guys. He's been in trouble a couple of times over yes. that. Yes. And he steps out. And one of the things you'll notice here he does, and I'm not going to give you everything, but one of the things you'll notice he does is he squares off. And for men, any man that you know, stand in front of him and stand square off, you'll eventually find a reason to go to obliques because male nature is that's a challenge to stand square onto each other. And I, I love it because I'll go into a corporation and talk to people and I'll stand square with them and watch them turn. Then I'll turn and square off with them and watch them turn again. <laughs> it's, it's funny to watch. It's just, it, it's, it's the ape. Now, so some people say like once upon a time being a, a hack expert, I did it as a, sort of a joke, but analyzed, um, uh, Kevin Spacey's Christmas special thing where he he was doing some performance after the whole scandal. But when you're looking at an actor, the question is, does it become harder yeah. to analyze yes. the behavior of an actor? Yeah, and, and I was about to say, what you're seeing here, now, do I believe, I'll back up a second tell you, here in a second and tell you what I think is going on overall. But if you watch, this could be him as a lawyer on any show he's doing. He's <laughs> delivering the message. He's doing all that. Does that mean that he's not feeling it too? No, it doesn't. You, because I, I assume that most actors go from a feeling they're having to delivering that. They're not mimicking. If they're mimicking, it makes it pretty hard to get it right because they don't know what the body language is either. They're doing something they're trying to feel and go through the process. But if you watch him, he does all of that. He's punctuating at the right times. To your point, Barnes, he's doing the stop, stop, stop tamping things down. He's holding his phone, which is kind of odd. And then you see he just he's hitting all of the comments at the right time for it to be what he's thinking. What yeah. I think is happening, what I'm thinking is happening is he's driving along. These guys are following him. And it doesn't matter if you're Alec Baldwin or Greg Hartley or Robert Barnes or, or Viva. If your wife is upset, your fight or flight <laughs> is kicked in. It doesn't matter who you are. I it doesn't matter who you are. My wife, my wife would only be upset if I pulled over to get out of the car. We would be driving and not stopping for anything. But um, okay, I'm, I'm going to keep going here, and then you're going. My impression yeah. was it, performance through and through. But here, oh yeah, I was going to say one addendum. You notice the way he's actually holding his phone is almost how you're describing a protective barrier. Barrier. Safe, yep. You know what I mean? Well, and, and it's a powerful barrier because it's technology, and he's copying you. He's right watching what you're doing. I, I, the first time I saw this, didn't realize he was holding a damn phone. I just thought he was holding his lapel like a performance in a in a in a <laughs> you know a, a, a 1600s play. But then I realized. This investigation in terms of a woman dying. She was my friend. She was my friend. The day I arrived in Santa Fe to start shooting, I took her to dinner with Joel, the director. I believe that. We I believe in. that. 
I believe that's him just saying this, I feel. Because he's such a performer, the problem for him is this sounds like a performance, even though it's probably not. That it's actually an authentic version of him. She was my friend. She was my friend. Pacing and... it, it sounds like he's hurt. on stage. He sounds like he's on one of those Broadway stages. Da, 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 da. Well, I, I well, think the problem think is, the, sorry, the, go for the it. problem is what you just said earlier about going to a trial. It, it's what the audience perceives, and if they've always seen you as an actor and they always think of you as in, then you're in trouble. This is the kind of thing. If I were him, now I'm I'm no lawyer, but if I were him, I would shut up. And yes. not get in front of cameras at all because this is going to come back to haunt you. It's just going to come back to haunt you. Well, I, I think I think it might be the next interaction with his own wife, uh, Greg. And you got to oh, you got to yeah. let us know. What oh yeah, I love this one. Very, very. Excuse me. You were very, very. You were, you know, I, I'll tell you what, my through. ex, if the if my head would have been rolling on that thing right there if I'd done that routine, I would have been <laughs> finito. Bye bye, Barnsey. You know what I see there? I see. Don't upstage me, bitch. <laughs> That's yeah, what I see. exactly. That's exactly right. I, I got, like, I'm delivering and you're upstaging me. That's what I saw right there. Yeah. Excuse me. Now, I also think that there's probably something going on in the car. You know, the kids are crying. There are people following them. There's some escalation going on in the car. There's a bunch of just do, do this. You know, you can see they're animated with each other. And as, as he goes through this without going through the whole video, you'll see again, he cuts her off again and says, let, let me talk. Let me talk. Yeah. So I'll, I think there's I'll, probably been a little I'll, bit of this. If I was the uh, prosecutor, this would make me more curious about whether there's a backstory with the woman on set. Just because he starts talking about the woman on set, and all of a sudden the wife wants starts to intervene, and it's like, hmm, maybe there was something else going on there. Like if you wanted a mystery theater version of this shooting, right? That you know, yeah. if this was Columbo or show or something, you know, it there was the timing of when she comes up to him in direct yeah. response to him saying about how he was so friendly with her. Uh, yeah. almost, you know, it was just curious. Well, that was and that Robert, was. now that people are thinking hashtag confession through projection and they're going to be asking some questions in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> this, is what, it's, this, is a, this is a Warshak test in, to some extent, which it right, is, right, yeah. it's sort of the broader question is your success, your success in life has to do with your accuracy over an extended period of time, um, which I guess is going to play into it. Like if you're, if you're wrong more often than you're right, you won't be successful. But if you're right more often than you're wrong, uh, success leaves clues. Here, I'll, I'll play, I'll play this out and then you'll give us the uh, overall. Sure, sure, yeah. And then this horrible event. Happened. Now I've been told multiple times, don't make any comments about the ongoing investigation. And I can't, I can't, I can't. That's right. it. And you met with, what are the, sorry, what are the questions that you have other than that? You met with the, uh, the, 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 um, I forget her name. Stop it real quick. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What do you think about him putting his illustrator in his pocket? Yeah, I think he's just that he's keenly aware of where he's at and who he is. He's always holding court. You know, I mean, that's the thing about these guys is they're always holding court. You can't get away from cameras. That's why I I know there's no such thing as Bigfoot, right? Because this guy can't get away from a camera and we don't have a a credible picture of a Bigfoot. (laughs) There are 320 million cameras in the U.S. and we don't have a credible picture of a Bigfoot. But Alec Baldwin can't hide in Vermont. You know, that's that's the problem with these guys in their lives. We did a Dr. Phil episode recently and Scott and I are walking with him and you can't help. Cameras are coming out of everywhere. You go to dinner with him and there's cameras everywhere. It's just part of it. So I think they get good at holding court, especially when you're him to start with. He's been in front of the in front of cameras enough times over other problems. And now this is a this is the story. I mean, this is this will be the story for a while. And then he has to go into his anti-gun thing. But yeah. Here. Selena, if you're spending this much time waiting for us, you she should know, know her, her name. name. Her name Th- this is what bothered me. And this is, I don't know if I'm projecting and I don't know if it's a- accurate. The What seems to be his attempt to shame the reporter for not remembering her name as a total method of dealing and pr- and, and pushing away the responsibility to make someone else feel guilty, responsible for it, for not remembering her name to sort of get past what he just did. I, I don't know if, if I'm reading more into it than there is, but oh, it's, cha- it's, it's clearly chaff and redirect. I mean, what I call chaff and redirect is when you spew out a lot of garbage and then I pick up one item and change directions. Think of an aircraft dropping chaff out of the back. Anything that drops in a missile will chase. Now you don't have to worry about the missile. And so anytime you get a chance to redirect, most resistance to interrogation, most chances to avoid being interrogated and, and giving up information is based on the ability to redirect somebody to a new topic. So yeah, this is an opportunity. There was a reporter who did a uh, was doing a big piece on me and some other people. And she uh, uh, 
complimented me on my redirect skills. Uh, that anytime she <laughs> went certain places, it was just, hey, hey, what about this? Oh, that was an interesting piece you wrote the other day. But uh, it's yeah. a very useful technique and tactic to to uh, to Powerful. avoid questions you don't want to avoid, particularly if you can either. Now, they just chose the guilt tripping way. I found the most effective way is to find something complimentary about the person that's an interesting subject that they want to talk about. Sure. Quickly redirect there and they're happy to go there with you. Yeah. I, I, the other thing I would say is I think there's some fight or flight going on here. And, you know, he's yeah. good at masking it better than she is. And you'll see yes. later in this video, she grimaces. She's angry. Her chin is up. The sides of her mouth are drawn. She exposes her lower teeth. That's all real. That's unless she's a hell of an actor, you know. Here, so, no, oh, yeah. she, I'll, she's I'll unable to be contained. They, now, <laughs> what do you think about this still right here? Baldwin looks so contemptuous. Is that? Yeah. An oh, that is. That's baby? absolutely contempt. Yeah, he's looking. Oh, poor baby. You know, you see it. Yeah, exactly. And you know, he he's masterful with the use of his face. All those wrinkles oh. and all those lines. Come from I mean, that's his, a great actor using too. His face. Yeah, they exactly. So wildly with their faces, it's just off the charts. Yep. Here, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll play this Helena, one out. Alina we'll... Hutchins. I met with her husband Matthew and her son. Yeah, that's right. And uh, how did that meeting go? Uh, I wouldn't know how to characterize. Okay. They're, 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 they're you, mortified. You guys, you, guys you know what? Do, no I'm, details. But, but do, do me a favor. I'm gonna. I'm gonna answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that he was probably very upset. The, 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 the guy is overwhelmed with grief. This, this is something that, that you, you know, there are incidental accidents uh, uh, on film sets uh, from time to time, but nothing like this. This is a one in a trillion episode. It's a one in a trillion. So he's holding court. He's not worried about so traffic. He is yep. shocked. He has a nine-year-old son. You know, we are, and you know, I don't think he moves his him. hand with that we're phone very at all. About his he doesn't. No. He is like this pure still. Uh, yeah. said, we're, we're, we're it's like frozen there in place. The sheriff's department to tell us what their investigation has yielded. What else? Do you I, I I just have this jail feeling. Jail. I'm telling you that some, they just got to a point. They're like, okay, pull over. I'm done with this. You know, I'm yeah, frustrated. She's, she's enraged and is triggered at this. Well, I, 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 she's. They're going at it. Is my guess. Yes. I, I just, I, it's my own projection. I look at this guy's face, the bags under his eyes. He hasn't slept in days because of what he did, whether he, you know, people don't want to give him any mercy because he, he might not deserve any, but it's still a human, or still because, an organism. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. The organism is, the, you're dead the wifey, on. Uh, the wifey caught him in something and he took care of the problem directly. <laughs> as as I, you're, you're, you're starting a conspiracy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So oh, well, what we should do is. Like a bad lip reading, what we should do is open our own bad body language. Yeah, so. <laughs> that, that there could be, there could definitely be a market for that. So we won't go into any more detail than that. When does your episode on this breakdown drop? I think we're doing it later this week. We have tomorrow is Theranos, and we'll probably drop one later in the week. And that's insider information. I don't know if the guys even know I'm telling you. So well, now now at least five thousand people know. So, <laughs> uh, and I didn't see any chat by the way for the last five minutes. So my apologies for not bringing anything up. I we successfully shared a screen without having a problem with YouTube. So I've I've broken one barrier. Ah, that I, it was better than the disastrous of those boomer lawyers in the Rittenhouse trial. 